Hey guys, I hope you heard John ask you to save the date last week, May 24. We're going to have our first in-person worship service in our in our sanctuary. Uh, we're going to change the times just a little bit. The first service will be at 9 o'clock. The second service will be at 11 o'clock. That extra 30 minutes in between will give us some time to sanitize the facility a little bit and keep uh, people from clustering a little bit in our foyer as they transition between services. We're pretty excited about that. We're going to have two venues, not not only will we be worshiping in our main sanctuary, but we're going to set up the student sanctuary, not necessarily as an overflow, but as an alternative worship space. We'll be able to put quite a few people in there and maintain the social distancing that we've been asked to, to honor. Now, by now, I'm sure you've heard about the guidelines that have been put out uh, regarding houses of worship for May 24th. And I want you to know that we're going to do our very best to follow those as long as they don't impede with the mission of the church. One of the first things that you probably heard about was the fact that we've got to limit the capacity and we're allowed to have 33% of capacity in uh, each of the rooms that we're going to be using. So for our main worship service, we're going to be able to have 301.66 people Little in deep. attendance. So I don't know who that 0.66 is, but maybe we've got a mom that's six months pregnant. Does that qualify? <laughs> that might do it. Uh, and then in our student worship room, we're going to be able to have 100.33 in there. So I guess we've got somebody that's uh, three first months trimester. into the pregnancy. Um, and the room setup is going to be a little bit different than we normally do. You know, we're going to uh, we're going to have to create some space. We're going to uh, uh, widen the rows, uh, widen the aisles, but it's still going to allow families to be able to sit together. And so we're excited about that. I also want you to know that uh, when you arrive on that Sunday morning, uh, our frontline team, our first impression team, our elders, our staff, our security and emergency team, uh, they're going to be wearing masks before and after the, uh, the services. Uh, if you want to wear a mask, you're welcome to do so. You don't have to. If you want to come and you don't have a mask, but you want one, we will have some of those available for you to snag in the uh, for your areas as well. So feel free to come on and join us for that. And I also want you to know that every Friday uh, before services take place, our janitorial service that we have will be sanitizing the chairs in our worship centers. They have a, uh, a disinfectant that they can spray on the chairs that, that kills any kind of um, bugs or uh, diseases that may be on there. And so we want you to know that that's going to take place every Friday as well. Guys, I hope you can see that our leadership is very concerned about the physical well-being of our Capital City Christian Church family. And I can also assure you that they are even more concerned about the spiritual well-being of our church family, as they ought to be, as our spiritual life is infinitely more important. Guys, we are on a mission from God. Our mission from God is to win people to Christ and to grow them up as Christ-driven 24-7 Jesus followers. And it's been very difficult for us to carry out both parts of that mission over the past couple of months, and we are really eager uh, to get back to getting it done. Now, we will be publishing the safety recommendations, and we're going to be following them as closely as we can without sacrificing the mission of the church. We're going to be working to keep our people both physically safe and spiritually challenged. We will strongly encourage anybody who is uncomfortable with in-person church or anybody who is especially at risk to keep on engaging online until they are comfortable with coming home. Yeah. Now, what's worship going to look like when you show up here on Sunday, May 24th? Now, when you arrive, uh, you're going to find that all of our doors are going to be propped open so that you don't have to grab a door handle when you come in that day. Uh, you're going to find at the worship stations, you're going to find the pre-filled communion packs. And we're going to ask you to grab one of those as you make your way into the worship center and find your seat. There you'll also find our generous buckets and our offering boxes. If you want to give a gift that day, you're welcome to do so at that time as well. Our worship service is going to involve singing. It's going to involve preaching. It's going to involve our multimedia. It's going to be the same worship Cap City style, and we're excited about that. And we need your help in this endeavor as well. If you're attending, please be sure that you help us out by following the social distancing guidelines that have been enacted. I know that it's going to be tough to keep from hugging Doc, but uh, you know if you can, just hold off a few more weeks on that one. If you're not feeling well or you've been running a fever, then we ask that you please stay home. Join us online for worship at 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. If you're not comfortable being out and about just yet, it's okay. Please don't feel like that you have to be here just because the church is having services. But please know we're going to do everything that we can to keep our family safe and healthy. 
We're excited to get back to doing life and worship together. And we can't wait to see you back at Capital City on May 24th. Have a great weekend. See you guys.